Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include Are the British people sitting on their hands over the EU referendum? Standard & Poor predicts deepening housing slump. New requests for removal of MEPs' legal immunity. Cyprus bailout vote stirs jitters as slump fears grow in Europe. Plus, letters of encouragement and praise for our film Betrayed. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the British people have been promised that in just under five years' time they will be able to vote in a national referendum on EU membership, but only if David Cameron and his Tory party are re-elected. Now remember folks, this is a definite cast-iron guarantee from Le Bon Premier Dave Cameroni, that cheeky Etonian, you just gotta love him. Spanish house prices are to fall a further 13% by the end of next year as the authorities flood the market with a backlog of repossessed properties, Standard & Poor has warned. Now that strikes me as a very conservative estimate and this article goes on to say the agency said the housing slump is deepening across large swathes of the eurozone. French declines are gaining momentum with prices likely to fall 5% this year and a further 5% in 2014. Well, it's not going to help that Mario Draghi has the Heidelbergs cranked up to warp factor 9, spewing out our EU Commission's favourite monopoly money, the Euro. Well, big well done to John, our researcher. He's dug out another absolute corker. Some twonk in the Parliament thought it would be a jolly good idea to have a go at blackmailing an Austrian MEP into adjusting one or two documents on a funding subsidy so that said individual might pocket the cash. The technical term for such behaviour is coercion. Well, as I reported a fortnight ago, MEPs are immune from legal prosecution. It's some sub-article in the small print of that tomb, the Consolidated Treaties and Charter of Fundamental Rights. Anyway, as you'll see from the article, this is a request to the Parliament to waive said immunity so that Eurogen 4 can nick him and send him on vacation with Big Bubba. Cyprus has stunned EU officials by ordering a vote in its Parliament on the terms of the EU IMF Troika bailout for the country risking a rejection by angry lawmakers and a fresh eruption of the crisis. Stunned? <laughs> Are those morons of Mordor mental? What do you expect? The Euro kleptocrats sanction a fiscal pick and mix into the savings of its citizens, stitch some newly appointed halfway up with the job of making the announcement, whom I might add subsequently resigns, not a fortnight after telling his electorate, we're going to take the money. Now the ministers in their Imperial Tower of Babel feign shock and horror that someone would have the gall to ask the public what they think. Today in your letters, Nick Brazil writes, As a documentary maker myself, I found Betrayed excellent. It explained Britain's and other European countries' slide into dictatorship under the EU with admirable clarity. This was greatly helped by Trevor Coleman's authoritative and measured manner. Dropping his normally rather strident tones used in the Nightly News podcast, Rick Timmis's contribution to the documentary's commentary also served it very well. The whole film left me feeling very angry and depressed. The problem is how to get this documentary more widely released to the general public. If I had not come across the link to the unit from the UKIP website, I would be totally unaware of your existence. Moreover, I would never have seen Betrayed. One has to ask why absolutely none of the mainstream media have not picked up on it and urged their readers and viewers to go to YouTube and view it. One has to ask why no TV channel has aired this important documentary. If this were a power grab by the United States or even Russia for all the European countries, it would be a very different matter. There must be a way to propel this important documentary from a film viewed by a concerned minority to the majority. Well Nick, those are the kind of letters that we always want 
And a big thank you to you for taking the time to share that delightful feedback with us. Nick, the best way to get our material out there at the moment is through you guys, the minority. You are the foot soldiers. It's you sharing and tweeting, emailing and telling others, and of course encouraging them to do the same. Of course, organising events or gatherings and inviting us to attend and present is very valuable, and we are geared up to help you get that rolling too. Just drop Andrew Fear a line via our website. Today in our video library, in this presentation, Simon Thorpe argues that the Eurozone countries could act together to provide a solution to the global economic crisis. The basic cause of much of the current mess is the money creation mechanism. Commercial banks currently have a virtual monopoly on money creation, and in recent years they have been creating trillions of euros in debt by creating money out of thin air, lending that money to governments, businesses and individuals, and then charging interest on those loans. Governments are currently paying hundreds of billions a year in interest charges, thus crippling the economy. Of course, there are other alternatives. The current one being favoured is the involuntary smash-and-grab depositors whip round. I'm Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive. Broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below. <laughs>